M0FXB, welcome to my channel. This is the Warui D300. I've had it for, I think, a couple of years. Um, always was never completely happy with how the programming software worked. But anyway, I'm going to chuck a, some new firmware on here. I'll put the link in the description where you can download the firmware. Let's go to the page here on the left, hit download, and you get everything that they have. You have the you double click the top one you've got the firmware update program really easy just double click it like so run it saying I've already got it of course so let's just remove it and then put it back on all right we we'll go next launch it's a small little program here that's for firmware okay and you will need to look up your device manager right click device manager see the com port the cable plugs actually into where the microphone goes you can see it's plugged in there just where my finger is so you unplug the microphone put that in the other end goes into your your computer on your ports here double click you've got two choices you're either gonna have a prolific one or a CH340. Okay, so that's all there. We, I'll show you where the drivers are, the USB drivers. Before we forget, we will select COM34, but we won't hit connect yet because we want to look at the software. So if we now double click D300 here, USB driver, you'll see that there's a choice of two prolific and CH341, which we've run so many times, but on. We'll, we'll put it in there again, why not, install, okay. Right, that's in there, just click OK. The next one, you, there are some instructions here with a YouTube video, I wonder what video that is. Yeah, it's linked to my video, so there is a video there. You can see the software double click here run that again just go through the process and it's going to say it's already there and I'll show you what that looks like so here it is here you need to connect your port like so so it's port and then 34 click OK and then I would go file read just so you save everything you can see it's reading now. And then it reboots once it's read and then you can start clicking the channels ETC. So let's let's have a go at chucking some firmware on this. So the first thing you want to do is turn it off. Yeah. It's turned off. Then turn the power supply off. Then turn the power supply back on after holding the channel plus, which is this one here. Yeah, the channel plus and the power. Let's see if it, and then you'll get a red light on the LED. Let's try it. It's quite fiddly, but doable there you are <laughs> fiddly but doable you can see that there's a red light on here so we're in firmware mode then we'll do open the pro the firmware program which is here I haven't done this for a while mind com 34 connect and then we'll just click update. Now it says here get version. Hmm. So I didn't see a bin file. USB boot mode it says. Update. Yeah, check connection. Let's just click update again. Hmm, doesn't want to do it. Let's try again. Connect. Update. 
No. Um, disconnect, connect, get version. I, I've used a, a different video that um, did work, so I'm going to add it to this video and then I'll keep tinkering, seeing if I can um, get it to work. Bye for now. So we've got the cable plugged into the microphone and we have the USB on our PC, supplied USB with the radio. Then the radio, we'll turn on the power supply just to make sure the radio is off. So the radio comes on, we'll turn it off. The radio's off, then we'll turn off the power supply. Turn that off. So there's no power. Then we hold down the power and the channel, quite fiddly. And then we'll turn on the power supply, like so. And then now the radio is in firmware mode. If we look at the PC, we'll, we are COM3 because we go device manager, double click ports, there's COM3. Then if we look at the software that we double click here, we go connect and then we're up there. And if we click update, like so, it will start to update here. And then you wait until it's complete. It does take a while. And that's all you do. You can see now the update is happening. It's in Chinese, but we will convert it with the software. And there you go, all completed. Thanks for watching, bye for now. M0FXB, welcome to my channel. Just tinkering around here with the D300 DMR VHF UHF radio by Wurui that you get from AliExpress. I think they're about 130 pound. And tinkering with the software. So the first thing I have found you need to do is once you've opened the software, and I'll provide a link in the description, you do need to write to the radio first. So just go right here, okay? device right. Once you've done that, uh, then you can start programming the radio. This is how I found it. So go to the basic information, go to the settings window here, which is this window. Okay, when you click settings, put in your DMR number, select English, squelch level four I've put, uh, the, this is a zone that I've already created. I'll show you what that looks like. So I've selected my, you know, I selected one of the zones I create, created, DMR, and then here you want channel alias so that the name shows up, channel alias, and then I've got current channel is on the A band. It will show channel one that I created, and on the B band channel four. The next thing we do is go to contacts. So any DMR channel you create, you're going to need to create a contact. Let's just minimize that down. Let's find contact window. Have a look here. Double click and then double click here for contacts. You need to add contacts here. So just click add like so. And if say you want to add 2350. You can add it, you can give it a name as if you want. All right, that's worldwide, no, that's local. G-A-L, and then call that one worldwide, W-W, and that one's called chat. So that's how you add your contacts for your DMR channels. Then you go to channels. These are your channels. Now I find that um, you can enter most information. Like I've got an analog channel here. Now I'm, I am finding that the when I put in the channel name, that it does delete if I close the window. So you have to add in the channel names here. So this one would be GB3WR. This one's my hotspot. Until the, the final development of the software. This is GB3FI. Now with digital, you do have to go, you have to click the right bit here to select the contact in the channel. So double click the right and you get the full window. So look, 
there's a contact there and there's my contacts that I've created. Uh, slot two I've got, colour code one, timeout up here as well, power. And then we've got available members that we can select here. So I, have, I haven't touched that section. Uh, available members and selected members. So let's just put worldwide there anyway. Okay. Now what I'm finding is if you look here that the name has gone to hotspot. Put that name back in. What's on the window will be sent. Zone wise, if you create a zone, say you go hubnet. Actually, we'll call the, we'll call the zone My Channels. My Channels. Click Available. The channels you've created in the channel list will go there, but the names aren't appearing at the moment, but you can still send them across into your zone. Like so. So you've created the contacts, you've created channels. Channels, you just type the channel in. So, for example, we'll do ZB430 dot eight two five it automatically puts it in but you want a shift for a repeater so four three I think it's um four dot five two five we can name it the CTCSS you have to select uh, analog here then CTCSS like so power and you can put the name, like I said, if, if you don't keep the names on the window, they vanish. So before you send it to the radio, you need to put the name in really. Once you've done that, you've got your zone, channels, contacts. Basic information doesn't show up there. Basic settings. There you are. Channels, zones, scans, radio. It does have a broadcast radio. It does have GPS this model and then when you're finished just write click write and you do need to plug in the programming cable which always helps into the microphone socket so we'll just unplug the microphone plug in the programming cable and it will start to write You can see the radio says PC program. Once you write to the radio, it's it, you'll see it in English. Click OK, and then it will boot up. The radio will boot up to whatever you told it to boot up to. If you hold down the A B button, you'll get dual display. Okay, so I'm just tinkering around, and um, hope this helps you program your. DMR 300 until the newer software is available. Bye for now, 7.3, all the best.